This is Mark Schofield from Inside the Pylon, kicking off the 2017 draft season with the latest installment of First Sound. This is a series where myself or another writer at Inside the Pylon break down a player more of a particular draft prospect. For me, I'm typically looking at quarterbacks. And during these segments, I bring you inside my thoughts as the play or plays unfold. Today I'll be looking at four plays from Pittsburgh quarterback Nathan Peterman, one of the signal callers headed to Mobile for the Senior Bowl. Before diving into these plays, just a few general thoughts about the game of football. This sport is, at its core, a game about emotion. Channeling the various emotions that you feel as a player can go a long way toward determining your success on the field. Some positions thrive on the ability to channel rage into the on the field aspect of imposing your will on the man across from you. Now at the quarterback position, the emotions that can swirl around your brain vary from snap to snap, from drive to drive, from half to half, and from game to game. Those emotions could be fear, apprehension, aggression, concern, and sometimes even rage. I experienced all those and more during my years playing the position. Controlling those emotions, drawn on aggression when you need to, or sometimes playing it safe when you should, is a delicate balance for any young quarterback to master. Returning to Peterman, we're going to look at four plays. First, one from Pittsburgh's game against Virginia Tech, and then three from their game against UNC. Peterman is an interesting prospect at the QB spot, a transfer from Tennessee who started 11 games last season for the Panthers and then every game in 2016. He has adequate size for the position, is a generally accurate passer, and has enough velocity to drive throws into collegiate throwing windows. But I want to dive into the mental aspect for a bit. This first play we're going to look at again comes from the Virginia Tech game this is a home game for the Panthers on a Thursday night. Got a prime time audience for this one. This play comes with about a minute left in the first half. Pittsburgh trails 16 to 7, and they face a third and goal on the 12 yard line. I have the play art drawn up. We'll start on the left side with the slot formation. We get a go route from the outside receiver that you see here, and we'll get a curl route from the guy in the slot. Going back to the right. The wide side of the field, we get another curl route from the slot receiver. And then this post route over the top. Virginia Tech's in their 3-3-5 defense. They drop one of the linebackers down to the edge here. They're going to play a little cover four scheme that we see here. The corners are off. They're going to drop. And the safety is going to drop as well. This is a spot where the quarterback needs to make a play. You're down by nine. Late in the first half, third and goal situation, you need to make a little bit of an aggressive decision here. Peterman does just that. I'm impressed with the decision that we see here. As we start to run through the play, we'll see him take the snap. Opens directly to the right. He wants to go to the wide side of the field here. Now remember the route concepts. We're going to get vertical here. We get post route here. And we get curls coming here. In here from the two slot guys. Now with cover four, Peterman knows a couple of things. The main thing that he knows is that the safety to the wide side of the field is going to have to squat on this curl route because any route that comes past about eight to ten yards, he's going to be responsible for, which means that this post route should find room behind him. Now, this cornerback is going to have to stay in sort of man coverage because, again, he's going to be responsible for any route that carries past a depth of 8 to 10 yards. So Peterman knows this. He just needs to make a throw when he can into what's going to be in, it could be potentially a tough throwing window. He sets and then resets his feet a little bit to buy himself some time. This is something to, as you watch Peterman going forward, Peterman does have a habit of resetting right before each throw. It's something to watch going forward when you do your own studies of him. But as this play develops, look at it now. That safety squatted on the goal line, squatted on this route. Peterman's also, remember, looking to the outside. The cornerback isn't even looking at Peterman. He's got his hips pointed towards the sideline. It's now the job of that receiver to get underneath on that post route. 
Peterman just needs to make sure that this safety is going to do what he expects and jump that curl. See there? The safety squats now. Now we've also got what we want on the outside. That post route has now come underneath that cornerback. That's a great job by that receiver on the outside to get underneath, to get inside leverage on his post route. Look at Peterman. He's in the ready position. He's got his weight on that back foot. He's going to transfer his weight forward to throw. See that reset? Resets his feet just a bit. Again, when you do your studying of Peterman, watch for that. It's something that he does on most throws. It's something he's going to need to be cognizant of going forward. But now you've got what you want as a quarterback. You've got, that's the curl route. The safety's right behind it on the goal line squatting on it. You've got the post route with inside leverage. Throws pretty well. He puts that pretty much right on the money. Cornerback rakes his arm, draws pass interference. The pass falls incomplete. But again, that's a really nice decision from Peterman. He reads the play well, reads that safety, knows where he wants to go with the football, and puts the throw where it needs to be. I would think this is a pretty aggressive, confident decision from the quarterback. Now, Pittsburgh would go on to lose that game, but Peterman played fairly well, and I like what he did there on that play. Now we're going to look at some plays from the UNC game. This is a game where we enter, we're looking at three plays, starting with the opening play of the fourth quarter. As you can see, Pittsburgh has the ball, facing third and four on their own 26-yard line. They have a 10-point lead, football on the left hash mark, backfield empty. Looking at the route design, we get slant flat to the left from the slot receivers. We get the slant route here from the outside, flat route here. We're going to get stick concept to the right. We get the vertical route on the outside. We get the option route here and the out route here. Peterman throws to the out route from that middle trips receiver. I like the decision that he makes. This is the right read. But I talked about at the beginning. Peterman is a generally accurate passer of the football. But I want you to see where this throw ends up. Throw goes to the outside. Now, there is a question here. The receiver kind of squats a bit. Maybe Peterman's expecting him to go more to the outside. That's certainly a possibility. Again, we don't know the exact play calls. We can't get in the heads of these guys right now just watching the tape. But that's a throw that's put to the outside. It's at a very safe spot. There could have been some route miscommunication, so I won't totally hold that play against Peterman. And if it was the only instance I have seen of this, honestly, I probably wouldn't be making this video. But that's the first play. Later in the game, 11 minutes left. Again, Pitt has a 10-point lead. Third and six, ball just outside the 20-yard line. We get a two-man sale concept. Vertical route on the outside, flat route from the tight end. It's going to come off an RPO look. Peterman's going to put the ball in the belly of his running back, make a read. He decides to pull it and throw. Again, I like the read and decision here. It's a question of the ball placement. Right there, he's making his throw. Vertical routes, pulling that cornerback. So this is the right place to go with the football. Throw is put high to the outside and sails out of bounds. It's a very conservative place to put this throw. So that's the second time. The first one may be a bit of a question mark over the route communication between the receiver and the quarterback. There's no miscommunication here. Peterman just puts this high to the outside. If anybody catches it, it's going to be the tight end. But the question is, can the tight end really catch it? Does he leave enough of the throw on the field? Now let's come back later in the game. Seven minutes left to go in the contest. You don't see the score right now, but as it comes up, Pittsburgh kicks a field goal after that previous play. They have a 13-point lead here, so things are looking good for Pittsburgh, but they face another third and six situation. They go three receivers to the right. We get a backside slant post route. You get switch verticals from the outside two guys. A flat route, quick out route from the number three trips receiver. Again, the ball placement. Makes the right read, but puts it way to the outside. It's a very safe, conservative throw. And this is the question that I'm going to be grappling with as I continue to dive into Peterman, both on tape and then down in Mobile when I get to see him live. Is that balancing of aggression and playing it safe when you need to. 
When I see that first play against Virginia Tech, I walk away pretty impressed with how Peterman handled that situation. Makes a strong, confident decision in the red zone where things happen faster and the field's more compressed. I like the ball placement. I like the way he read that play. I like where he put the football. It's a very good, aggressive, confident decision that he shows on that first play. The next three are where I start to have some questions. Is he playing it safe, almost too safe? And remember this, or you should know this. UNC wins this game by one point, 37-36. Now, it's totally not on Peterman solely, or even that much at all. A lot of things happen in that game. But when you see a quarterback make very, very safe throws down the stretch and a team can't salt away a victory, it leaves me with some questions. And so as I continue to study Peterman, those are some of the things I'm going to be grappled with. His ability to balance the need to be aggressive at times with the need to play it safe at times and whether sometimes the line gets blurred when he's playing the quarterback position. I'm Mark Schofield from Inside the Pylon. Thanks for watching this installment of First Sound. I'll be back soon, as with some of the other writers, as we start to get ready for the 2017 NFL Draft.